Hello, good morning. Today I'm doing a flat tour. I really like this little setup. I'm gonna film here more. Isn't it, isn't it so cute? I'm just in front of my fireplace. That doesn't work, but it's there for the aesthetic and that's what matters. No one, no one asked for this, but I hope someone enjoys it. But I'm sitting in the floor at the moment in the middle of our like living room, front room space. I'll quickly show you. Got big windows, little sofa, and then the kitchen is over there. And my bedroom is over there. So I've been living in Edinburgh for the last like year and a, two years almost. Jesus. Has it really been almost two years? Anyway, that's crazy. But I live here pretty full time, unless I'm seeing my family. But and my boyfriend lives here part time, unless he's at uni. Because I go to uni in Edinburgh and he goes to uni in Durham. I guess we'll start with just this little, this little corner of the room. We've got first up the record player that every single person has. The classic. Literally, like, what was the craze with these, like, specific record players? I remember they sold them, I don't know if they still do, at Urban Outfitters. You can get them in absolutely any colour. Everyone I know has one. But, you know, I'm okay being that basic ass bitch, because isn't she cute? Then I've got a bunch of records. Most, most have been stolen from my mom. So I've got Singing Detective, Blood and Chocolate, Elvis Castillo, Girls, Girls, Girls. Another Bruce Springsteen. My baby. My little submarine album. La La Land. Classic. The Breakfast Club. Oh my god, I forgot about this. This is um this very this band, Our Girl, and it's my godmother's best friend's band. And look, it has a little a little inscription saying happy birthday and all of their signatures, which is so cute. And then another Our Girl album. My Burn Your Fire Angel Olsen album. This shit, this is, this is for the girlies who listen to Phoebe Bridges or like Mick, Mick, Mitski. Angel Olsen, you need to get on her, trust me. You also need to get on um, our girl. Search them up on Spotify, do it, you won't regret it. I love a good girl band, and I love a good sad girl artist. Yeah, some kind of know, just a, you know, it was all feeling a bit angsty, so we're gonna spice it up. Banana Rama. Baby Driver, The Jam, St. Elmo's Fire soundtrack, best movie ever, Tom Waits, another Bring Bruce Springsteen, I was about to say Breathe Sting. There you go. Also, side note, just for the rest of the tour, I do an art degree. So there are just like endless paintings just like chilling in the background because I have nowhere to put them. Meet my plant. Ugh! He's very cute. <laughs> I, my plants have been slightly neglected recently because I've been on holiday and I've just, they, they did, they suffered, but they're on their way back. Another plant, another lamp, and then this very cute painting. Okay, I should just stand up. This cute print of Basquiat, which I truly love. And look, I also got this candlestick holder in a charity shop. Like, two years ago. Is he not hilarious? Like, he's so cute. I'm yet to put a candle in him, but I love him. Moving swiftly on to another part of my room. But yeah, I thought I would show you. He's, this is one of my favorite plants. I don't know why, I just, I absolutely love an aloe vera plant. And it's in a really lovely, like, um, clay pot. But he's a bit wobbly. I think he needs repotting, to be honest. But I always get so anxious repotting plants because I feel like they're just gonna fall apart when I like move them and it really scares me. I don't wanna traumatize them. This is one of my favorite things. I don't know if you can see it. It's this little beer fridge. When my family moved into their most recent home, this was just like there and none of us thought it was working. And I was like, oh, please can I just take it? Cause we weren't using it. It was just sitting in the garage like collecting dust and I was like please it looks so cute it will look so cute and now it's my little side table and I love it I spent a long time like cleaning it and like making sure there was no dust no like damage and now it works and now we move to I feel like a lot of people have this I see this in a lot of flat tours it's like Ikea's finest so I use it for art supplies so I've got all my oil paints here which is just like the perfect like place to put them because often I end up doing paintings like just like leaning against this sofa or like on the floor. So this is on wheels, 
So I can just move it with me and then the paints are right where they need to be. Second shelf, we've got very, very gross palette and just some random crap, some paint, some paint thinner, so be careful. Don't, don't drink that, it's not water. Doo -doo. I'll do a little tour. Okay, we have all of my many slightly grubby paintbrushes. I really need to go through them and like properly sort them out. Then I've got a spool of yarn. I actually have three of these. Can you see? You can spot one there. Where's my other one? I literally have no idea. Anyway, and then I've got this plant who's looking a bit thin, but he's growing. He's still, he's still working his way. And then this little purple plant who is the cutest. By the way, this is like nutrients, just like shoved in there. But I was so sad because a lot of the leaves were brown when I came back because I just hadn't been able to water him that often. So can you see, I've like properly trimmed him down. And hopefully he will grow bright and strong again. Now to my kitchen table. I've got one plant in here as well. I just, I do have quite a few plants. I used to have a lot more, but the real is not very good at looking after plants. Um, I got a bit obsessed looking after them. And I just bought so many in like one month and then I really had to like cut it down. I feel like this angle I look so small compared to my table. Um, so yeah, that's like the general area. I don't know if I'm very good at flat tools. Please let me know. Okay, I want to show you my bookshelf, but I want to put you somewhere that you can properly see it. This is my bookshelf. It has, it has all the goods on it. So I've got a little film camera. Oh my god. Dinosaur lamp, look. Is that not so cute? Oh, I love him. But yeah, I'm a big reader and also like once I've read a book, I'm very, and I enjoy it. I'm very sentimental about it. Like I'm that bitch who doesn't share books. I feel bad about it, but I just, I just can't share books. I'm so like protective over them. And I do the silliest thing is that if I read Let's say when I was younger, I would like read a library book or a school book, or even if like my mum lent me a book. If I loved that book, I need my own copy of it. Like I can't just like deal with not having it. So I would read it and then immediately purchase it and be like, yep, yeah, that's mine now. I need that. I don't feel complete if I don't have it. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm not a Kindle girl. Yeah, I never could be and I never will be a Kindle girl. I'd love to be because it would probably save me a lot of money, but I'm not. Give me some good, some top, some top picks. Oh, I finished. I read, I know everyone talks about this on TikTok, is A Little Life. The most harrowing book you will ever read. Do not read it. You will be scarred. It will not be, it will, you just know. Like, it's beautifully written, but it's so unbelievably emotionally draining. I, oh, fuck. We've also got Call Me By Your Name, Just Kids, the Patti Smith book, some Neil Gaiman, um, oh, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I feel like that's a fave for a lot of people. Oh, we've got A Secret History. I read that like three times. My mum bought that book for me just before we went on a Disney trip. And I would read it in all of the queues for all of the rides. And I finished it, and I read it twice that week twice like i finished it in like two days and then i just started it again but yeah that's a good book i'd recommend that and we also have a david lynch book because that's my boyfriend i'm not i i i'm not a david lyncher i apologize actually i don't apologize anyway <laughs> so i have this little pot that my boyfriend made I think that's just the Japanese four pot. A film photo that my boyfriend took when we were both in Florence. I think it's pretty cool if you ask me. Hi. Was my fly undone? Oh my god. If my fly was in, undone in all of those clips, I'm going to blow my brains out. Anyway. Anyway, so. Oh my god, I haven't shown you my fucking sofa. What am I doing? 
the lovely sofa. The sofa is now very comfy. It used to be quite uncomfy, but now we've like padded it with a lot of pillows and quilts. And it's pretty, it's pretty good. I love this room so much. It really like fills me with this sense of like zen. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This lighting sucks, but I'm about to show you my favorite thing in the house. Oh, isn't he lovely? He, she, cat clock. It's kind of hypnotizing. But let me show you, let me show you the kitchen. It's cute, it's cute. I've got my little Totoro um, poster. Cuisine, which is French for kitchen. Mugs. Cat mug. Oh my god, no, I have to show you the cat mug. And look how cute the bottom is. Is that not adorable? Okay, let's head down the corridor. First up, you see my, my rugs. And my mum gets really mad at these because they're technically bath mats. But like, he would just be wasted as a bath mat. He needs, he needs his time to shine. So we have the hallway that leads then to my bedroom. And then this is... This is the front door. Since I live alone, who's gonna tell me I can't put a rack of clothes in the corridor? I was running out of space in my bedroom and I used to have this at the end of my bed, but it was just really annoying and it made the room feel a lot smaller. So I was like, you know where it could go? And I'll tell you where it could go. It could go in just the corridor. So we have fun jackets, shirts, more i have a lot of a lot of dresses um isn't this one so cute it's unbuttoned but i got it recently very cute more oh this one's also really cute look at the little pattern anyway skirts a very colorful wardrobe then my little randomly black section a lot of jeans a fair amount of jeans a fair amount of trousers and some jumpers i have too many clothes but now to the most important room in the house. I haven't included bathrooms, by the way. My bedroom. So first up, we have like a little shelf thing up that my dad put up for me, which I absolutely love. Let me stand on my bed. Here's a painting I made. Here's a painting I didn't make, but it's a print of a painting that I really fucking love. Do you want a close up? Should we have a little look? So very cute pot with lots of like jewelry and stuff like that. But my boyfriend made me this pot and you can't really read it just from here, but the like printing is like a poem he wrote. So it's very cute. We've got digital camera and two like disposal cameras that I just have never used. I don't know why. Uh, a cute soda bottle. Campari soda, which I had in Siena when I went and I brought it home with me because I thought it was cute. Chanel lotion, I think it is, that just stays in its pot because it looks cute. Some, some goodies here. We've got some nail varnish, some hair milk thing, Arnica salve, essence of lavender and a roll remedy. Then we have my little tray you can't really see but this little tray has like a little face and it's like a little um girl just like sitting and it's a very cute tray and it's just got some of my random pieces of jewelry more jewelry box oh my god this bronzer although i saw someone on tiktok saying that it's poisonous so can someone please confirm or deny another pot oh my god i have to show you the inside of this pot hang on oh my god this is chaotic Okay, this doesn't work. No. Oh my god. Ah! This is so much harder than it looks. Okay, okay. Look, it's a little sleeping cat. Can you see? Isn't he fucking adorable? Um, AirPods. A little, little pot of money. All my little treasures. Another pot. Of money! Oh my god, guys, I'm so rich right now. And then I have the French Dispatch posters. No, postcards. Oh, no! I have a bunch, but let's just look at Timothy. 
Timothy! Oh my god, no one told me room tours were so exhausting. These are my laundry bags. Something I've learned about living alone is smaller laundry bags are better. A hundred percent. So I used to have a huge, like, standalone one, and I would just keep filling it up. And the clothes at the bottom would be like four weeks old, and that's really gross. That's really gross, cat. That's really gross. But these, these bad boys, these fit like a four day week. And that's what I need. Someone to be like, after four days, you know, you should do your fucking washing. We have my desk. Okay. That's just shit. Look, I'm not, it does, yeah, it opens and then becomes a desk. But it's, it's pretty messy and yeah, you don't, it's, you're not getting to see it. I'm sorry. You don't, you don't get it. And then, oh my god, look, this is my little table by the window. And it has all my postcards all like under a layer of glass. But I really need to blue tack them down because they're all a bit of a mess. And then, coming to this corner, we have a little random pile of books because I was like trying to look for flat inspo on Pinterest. I kept seeing like people who have like these like piles of books around the room and it looks really like aesthetic and pretty. But I don't. I don't think I've mastered it. It kind of looks out of place. They're all very cool. But yeah, it does, I feel like, give me some advice on like flat arrangement because I feel like it looks kind of random there. Yeah, I don't know what else to show you guys. But really that's it to be honest. I am kind of tired and I feel like I'm going to go make myself some brunch. Breakfast, lunch, I have no idea what the time is right now. I literally couldn't tell you. That is a quick not so quick, slightly convoluted, confusing, roundabout flat tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm worried about editing this back because I feel like it could be like such a chaotic mess. I have no idea. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it, give it a thumbs up if you did. I will try and keep posting regularly, but I'm working all August at the Fringe Festival in Edinburgh. And my days are so busy. Like yesterday was my first like proper big day. And I was working from 8am till 10pm or something. 10.30 and then I didn't get to bed until 12. So I'm just like figuring out how to like fit in editing and filming. But I do have one day a week free, which is now. If you miss me, if you miss me, that's why. Alright, bye, love you.